Holy shit. Uh, this is my very first Mun landing. I'm tense, I gotta tell you. And the reason I'm tense is because I flew here in real time. I did not time accelerate once. Uh, I don't plan on doing this all the time, but for you know, maiden voyages to uh, doing new things, uh, I think it adds uh, a sort of a romantic feeling to it and a meaning to every burn. Uh, if I had just fast-forwarded us here uh, in 10, 15 minutes, uh, it, I would not be nearly as nervous as I am right now, and that's pretty cool. Uh, although I will undoubtedly <laughs> be uh, abusing the fast-forward feature for uh, any further MUN trips. All right, uh, less than 10 minutes until we touch down. Uh, now, we do have a slight problem. I messed up the staging in my lander, uh, or in my rocket, and uh, you'll notice I don't have any lander legs and that is kind of an issue uh, because I, I set the lander legs by accident to uh, decouple <laughs> before um, well uh, before I got to my landing stage so that's something we'll be fixing <laughs> back at uh, Kerbal Space Center but for now it means that uh, John Bull Kerman here John Bull's Kerman is going to have to land on this teeny tiny little rocket thingy. <sighs> I like uh, my approach here. I'm thinking about uh, using it to set up a new star base, uh, or moon base rather, assuming I survive. Oh boy, I wish I had like some sort of chalk or powder to put on my hands right now. I love it when a game can make me feel this excited. Uh, what I've read says that around 50 kilometers you should start uh, decelerating. We're going pretty fast though, so uh, I might do a test burn around uh, 100k out and see what that does. <sighs> oh lordy. But uh, I've got precision mode on. We're looking pretty good. We're aiming more or less straight up for retro burning. And I believe I have to actually fire my engine sequence. I don't think I've done that yet because I don't see any fuel down there. There <sighs> we go. God save the queen. <sighs> All right. Got one hand on the stick, the other hand on the throttle. We're going down at six, over 600 meters per second. We're going to have to take care of that pretty quickly. And let me just do a quick check to make sure that uh, my engines have not been activated yet. Nope. Okay. Engines activated. We're moving SAS to better lock in. Let's begin a slight burn to slow ourselves down a little bit. Oh lordy. We want to get under 400 by the time we get to uh, 50,000 uh, meters. Our lateral velocity appears to be uh, relatively minute. This is a good thing. I'm going to increase the throttle a little bit. I really want to get that uh, velocity down below 400. Our fuel is fine. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a return trip anyway. We're probably going to, like I said, stage a new Mon base here. So, I'm not worried about getting back right now. Okay. Alright. Doing good. I could ease the throttle back a little bit. Ease her back. Ease her back. Stay on target. Stay on target. 
probably activate RCS at some point. I'm going to remember to do that. Hope I remember what I map my RCS controls to. I, I actually haven't had to use it yet. Jesus Christ.
That's right. Oh, God. That sucked. All right. Cognizant of the fact that we are burning some serious fuel here. wobbly rockets. Nobody likes... Okay, I see our shadow. I do not like this lateral motion that we've got. This is not good. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Please, 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 please. Jesus, can I just do this with RCS? Come on, just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> well, we're on the mud. That was magical. That was magical. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care, guys.